Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm your brother, Wutalaha the Haq. Welcome all of you. I work as an SAP uh, technical consultant here in Saudi. And uh, I made this presentation, The Dangerous Trap of Pornography and the Tips to Quit It, back in 2000, uh, 2011, 2012. And uh, my video in Urdu on this topic is available on YouTube, Internet Fahashi or Kasrat. And uh, I also gave this presentation in Bangalore back in 2012, alhamdulillah. So I thought that this is one of the challenging topics of this time. And many of us uh, who are not addicted to porn uh, want, you know, want to help those who are addicted. And those who are addicted, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect them, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them patience, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help them quit pornography, inshallah. So we'll be discussing some of the uh, interesting points here. Uh, we'll not be discussing about the brief history of porn, as we don't need it. And uh, we'll be discussing why porn is promoted. So this is one of the important questions we get in our minds that what is the reason why porn is promoted and how it affects human mind and how it affects teenagers, especially youth, and how it poisons marital lives and how it increases sexual crimes and uh, what Islam says about porn and possible tips to quit porn and how parents can protect children in advance so that their children don't get addicted or don't get into the porn addiction, inshallah. We'll be discussing about these points, inshallah. Porn exists in the audio form and the video form and the written form and the printed form. Reasons for promoting porn. The first and the foremost reason for promoting porn is the mind control. So mind control strategy of the Freemasons and the Illuminati. So this is not conspiracy theory anyway. So it's the reality. It's done to control the minds of millions of people so that they don't get advanced, so that they don't get into the things they want, uh, they don't want you to get into. And second thing is easy money and high revenue. So you don't have to make much investments, little investment and more profit. For this reason, uh, porn industry is blooming. And according to studies in 2001, it says that total porn sources contribute to about 2.6 billion to 3.9 billion revenue. SubhanAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect human race. And how it affects the human brain, this is one of the interesting points here. Our brain releases dopamine and endorphin hormone. And this hormone, dopamine and endorphin, it's kind of reward awarding system in our body. So it helps you and I feel good. So when you have good food or have, uh, you know, drink something good or eat something good, or at least have, you know, ample amount, ample, amount of sound sleep. So your brain releases this hormone. So this makes you feel good. So when you watch pornography, the doctors say that your brain releases this hormone in in an abnormal way. So that leads to brain getting damaged. Dr. Eric J. Nessler he, he, of the Department of Psychiatry and Center for Basic Neuroscience at the University of Texas he mentions this point. He says that, in other words, drugs and we can infer behavioral addictions like pornography have the ability to produce a greater pleasure that can be found naturally. This is the commonly referred to as high. You know, you, you, you hear this word high uh, for those who are addicted to drugs, right? That has so long been associated with drug use and is now becoming popular when referring to pornography or sex addicts. So porn addiction, in short, is more dangerous than cocaine or marijuana drugs. Since dopamine is forced to be released in high quantity during watching a porn than in any other activity. 
And in literal terms, it means that your brain becomes dumb. And the youth who watch pornography, they get into various dirty habits. For example, they get into the private chat rooms and they do the dirty chattings and they get addicted to the secret habit of masturbation. And Tom Minery, in his book, Pornography, A Human Tragedy, he says that one of four sexually experienced teenagers encounter STDs, resulting in three million cases every year. So can you imagine that US alone has three million cases increasing every year, subhanAllah. And there will be increased rates of pregnancies among teenagers and that will result in abortions and porn invites irresponsible sex with partners. This is really, really important for us to understand that, sex, uh, that the pornography, it gives very negative message that woman is for use and throw purpose. Woman is for using and throwing away. So people feel, I mean, the people who watch porn, the porn addicts, they feel that woman is just a, a, a sexual object. Unlike what God has created woman for. So woman is not for only sexual fantasies or only for the sexual activities. Woman has greater responsibilities in our life. And, uh, uh, it gives negative traits and values in children contrary to what parents teach them. And porn develops callous attitude towards women. This is, this is really interesting. You know, 70% of uh, the youth, uh, you know, 70% of the youth who get arrested for rape crimes, they admit, they admit that uh, they watched porn and they tried doing what, what they want watched in porn. And in fact, uh, uh, the porn addicts, they have great appetite for bizarre form of sexual practices. You know, very bizarre form of sexual practices because they don't get satisfied with the natural and regular way of sexual, you know, physical intimacy. In fact, they want something different. They want something, you know, out of the box. They want something extraordinary. And for this reason, uh, they commit crimes against women and children. And in fact, porn addict men, they feel less satisfied with their wives. And obviously when they watch porn, and this is the hard reality, that when, when they watch porn, they watch all kinds of bizarre sexual practices and that cannot happen in the natural life right so a normal porn video goes up to 45 minutes one hour or one 1 1.5 hours and obviously that kind of sexual activity cannot be performed in normal human life right so for this reason the porn addict men they feel less satisfied with their wives and are less emotionally attached to their wives. SubhanAllah. As I told you earlier, 77% of criminals who molested boys and 88% of criminals who molested girls admitted to habitual use of porn. India is facing great challenge from the rape cases. Every now and then we read in the Indian newspapers that um, so-and-so girl has been raped, four years old has been raped, five years old has been raped. So it's all because of the porn addiction. In fact, in the places like UP, Uttar Pradesh, you know, small, small shops and hawkers, they sell rape videos. They sell rape videos, mobile recorded rape videos for minimum 50 rupees. So the sexual crimes against women are going high and high because of the porn and the porn addiction. What Islam says about it? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim bismillah rahman rahim wala taqrabu zina innahu kana fahishatan wasa'a sabila 
and come not near to the unlawful sexual intercourse. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, do not come near to it. Verily, it is fawahish and an evil way. Note this point. It's an evil way that leads one to hell unless Allah forgives him. So this is a very evil way. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, in Surah an nur Surah 24, and Ayah 30 and 31, قُلْ إِنَّ مَحَرَّمَ رَبِّيَ الْفَوَاحِشَ مَا ظَهَرَ مِنْهَا وَمَا بَطَلْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but the things that my Lord has indeed forbidden are al-fawahish, great evil sins, every kind of unlawful sexual intercourse, whether committed openly or secretly. You can't just get away with, I do it secretly, I don't harm anyone, I don't affect anyone, but you're harming yourself and you're affecting yourself. And if you're harming and affecting yourself, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden it as well. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah An Nur, Surah 24, and Ayah 30 and 31. In Ayah 30, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders men first to lower down the gaze and protect their private parts. And in Ayah 31, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells women to lower down the gaze and protect their private parts so that they become successful. And this is really important ayat in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah An Nur, Surah 24, and Ayah 19. Verily, those who like that illegal sexual intercourse that is fawahish, zina, fornication, adultery, should be propagated among those who believe. They will have a painful torment in this world and in the hereafter. So note this point. Allah says that Great punishment in this world and in the hereafter. So you have to be very careful before sharing all those, you know, pictures on WhatsApp, forwarding the emails, you know, sharing the links and calling your partner on, you know, a webcam and persuading her or him to show the private parts. Subhanallah. These are all the dangerous crimes. And you have you will have to and you shall face the punishment in the world and in the hereafter if you don't repent and if you don't quit it. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that no man or woman should look at the naked body of each other unless married. So it is forbidden, it is haram to look at the naked bodies of other men or other women. <laughs> Ibn al-Qayyim rahmatullah alayhi, he said that zina, adultery, fornication, it leads to many problems. Okay, lack of religious commitment is found in the person who does fornication and adultery. Loss of piety, loss of chivalry, lack of protective jealousy and that's that's quite obvious right because the person who watches other women doing sexual intercourse does he feel you know protective about his own woman no he will not feel about it so he will lose protective jealousy Rira. you will not find any adulterer who is pious who keeps his promises who speaks truthfully who is a good friend who has complete protective jealousy towards his family. You don't find it. Effects of adultery in our lives. It leads to treachery, lying, betrayal, lack of modesty, lack of awareness that Allah is always watching, lack of chivalry, la loss of protective jealousy from the heart. And these are the effects and implications of zina, fornication and adultery in our lives. The Allah protect us. So these are some of the possible solutions to quit porn, which I'm going to share with you now. First thing is to make note of the source of porn. Try to find what is the source of porn. Try to find that. What is the source of porn? It can be a WhatsApp group. It can be a Facebook group or it can be a Facebook page. It can be uh, a broadcasting number. 
it can be you know a magazine it can be you know an email uh, group it can be your friend it can be anything anything it can be a simple message as well so try to make note of the source of porn which is leading you eventually to watch porn second thing is put a space between you and your your source first make dua to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if possible at least make one day in a week to wake up and uh, do tahajjud may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make me do that first make tahajjud and make dua to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala okay and do your daily prayers five daily prayers especially fajr fajr in the mosque fajr in the masjid do it and put space between you and your source and get rid of what you have the dvds the magazines the whatsapp group the facebook page unlike the facebook page and leave the whatsapp group and if you have any such kind of source just get rid of it and take note of the situations that tempt you the most it can be any situation you're traveling in a bus you find a girl sitting in front of you it can tempt you right and you watch a video and you 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 find a girl inside the video that can also tempt you so there can be many situations that can tempt you the most it can be your friend who comes and tells you about how he enjoyed fornication how he enjoyed watching pornography it can be anything take note of those situations that tempt you the most and start new good habit to replace porn start a good new habit to replace porn sit with your friends discuss about politics discuss about discuss about religion gain knowledge about your religion gain knowledge how to worship allah gain knowledge about the life of prophet muhammad peace be upon him gain knowledge of the lives of the companions of the prophet muhammad peace be upon him so try gaining knowledge on that try gaining knowledge on at least the you know technological issues technological advancements learn about new technology know about the new technology what it does how it does so start a new good habit to replace porn inshallah and mark him and make a mark on the calendar for the days going without porn and track progress for example today is 21st mark it alhamdulillah 21st i didn't watch porn 22nd 23rd 24th likewise next month 21st alhamdulillah it's been it's been it's been a month and i haven't i haven't watched porn alhamdulillah but don't give away don't quit don't you know get into the delusion and don't get into the shaitanic trap that alhamdulillah for the past one month i didn't watch let's watch now no the moment you do that you lose everything what you have gained in the complete one month don't do that anyway just focus on another one month alhamdulillah one month now my next focus in is december 21st and then my next focus is january 21st so keep the track of the progress give yourself positive internet things that means get involved in something positive on internet and these days alhamdulillah on facebook on twitter on facebook you have live you know lectures and on twitter periscope you have live lectures for example what we attend i'll mention it to you on every monday on every monday uh we have live video session of sheikh muhammad bin ramzan al hajri translated by his student abu afnan in english so it helps you gain knowledge it helps you gain islamic knowledge so give yourself something positive and stay away from friends that provoke you to watch porn yeah this is really important stay away from the friends that provoke you to watch porn as the saying goes a person is known by the company he keeps right there is another saying in continuation to this it says a person is known by the company he keeps and the company he avoids so a person is also known by the company he avoids this is really important and cut down your computer use especially at night these days you can say cut down your smartphone use especially during night cut down your laptop use especially during night try socializing with good people 
and get in social welfare activities. Try socializing with good people. So good people will eventually affect your behavior. You know the story of the person who killed 99 people, right? 99 people and then he went to a person and say that I committed murders. I, I killed 99 people and I want to repent. And the person said that it's difficult for you to repent because you have killed 99 people. So the person killed that person as well. Uh, so the man, he killed the, the person who said that Allah will not forgive you. And then he felt bad about it, that he killed 100 people. Then he went to another person. He said that I want to repent. Then he said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will surely accept your forgiveness. You have to repent and go to so-and-so place. There are good people. There are good people and be in their be in their society, be in their companionship, be in their relationship. Try socializing with them in short. So he left the place to be in the company of the good people. So the scholars and the ulama, they say that to be in the company of the good people will, will help you get rid of bad habits, inshallah. And try to remind yourself about the Allah's orders and his punishments. What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told in the Quran. La taqrabu zina innahu kana fahishatan wasa sabila. So try reminding yourself with these commands and with, with, with the punishments Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned about in the Quran. The permanent and the quick solution is marriage. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken care himself about, uh, he has taken care himself of the responsibility of three people. The first is the one who is Mujahid fi sabirillah. The second is the one, uh, the slave who wants to get rid of the enslave, enslavement. And the third is the one who wants to get married and wants to have a chaste life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help him. And uh, inshallah, I will have another session on the marriage and uh, the benefits and the advantages of marriage, inshallah. We will discuss more about it. And I hope, inshallah, that will help you to understand the significant aspect of marriage in your life, inshallah. And another tip is to lower down the gaze. The moment you feel that a beautiful woman is passing by you, you have to lower down the gaze. And it applies on the sisters as well. Use available leisure time in worshiping Allah and gaining knowledge. Try socializing with your masjid committee and the youngsters and the youth uh, who are involved in the dawah activities, get, get along with them. Be cautious not to develop secret habit that leads to weak nervous system, eyesight and back ache. Most of the doctors, doctors say that secret habit, that is masturbation, is okay because uh, you don't get into homosexuality and for, fornication. And once you get into fornication and homosexuality or adultery, uh, there are chances of catching STDs, right? Sexually transmitted diseases. So to protect their patients from getting into STDs, they simply say masturbation is okay but masturbation is not okay it's not okay at all because there are many devastating uh you know results of the people who do masturbation it leads to weak nervous system weak eyesight and weak you know it it, it, it creates problems for the back back as well and avoid the illusion that secret habit is alternative to fornication or homosexuality and follow the hadith of Prophet Sallallahu of not spending the night alone. Prophet Sallallahu said that do not spend your night alone. It's not, it's not permissible to spend the night alone. Okay, so if you're alone, then shaitan gets chances to tempt you and to call you towards, uh, you know, watching porn. And there should be constant repenting and asking forgiveness from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Try hard to be patient and chaste. Frequently fasting as it diminishes sexual passions. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that those who are capable of marrying should get married and those who cannot should keep fasting. So if you fast in, uh, for example, you fast today, you have the feeling 
and that goes in your mind that you're fasting and you should be away from this. You should stay away from all the things. And during night, you have the same feeling that the next day I have to fast, so I have to sleep early, I have to wake early, I have to eat, I have to fast. So for that reason, fasting helps you, you know, fight the unwanted sexual passions. And follow the recommendations Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave of getting ready for bed. You know, reading Ayat al-Kursi and the Adkar. And try to follow the evening and morning Adkar. This really helps. Alhamdulillah, this really helps. Try to follow the morning and evening Adkar. I forgot to mention one thing. Strengthening one's willpower. This is important. If you are dieting, if you are exercising, uh, I mean, if you are working out in gym, and um, if you are doing anything to change yourself, you need willpower. And without willpower, it's difficult. It's really difficult. If you want to quit sugar, you have to have willpower. If you ha <laughs> if you want to lose weight, you have to have willpower. So without willpower, it cannot be possible. What are the tips the parents can acquire to protect their children from the porn addiction? Do not allow children to have unsupervised access to internet. Always try to have supervised access to internet. Try to check the browser history and the cookies and the web pages and the websites your kid has visited. Understand the basics of internet and browser settings. Try to understand the browser settings, how the browsers work, and how you can, you know, block the uh, porn websites. Here in Saudi, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, here in Saudi, um, porn websites are blocked. So a person, even if he wants to, in private, he cannot access porn websites. If he tries to do that repeatedly on his computer or his laptop, I think it gets reported in the you know authorities uh, system that from this IP so and so tried accessing so and so website. But if the, if if it doesn't happen at the government level, you can do it in your house, and you can buy certain softwares and uh, you know applications through which you can block porn websites. Reconsider before sending your children to neighbor's house. Yes. The things which you don't teach your children here in your house, there are high chances he may get it from your neighbor's house or your relative's house. So it doesn't mean that you don't have to send them. Send them, make them extrovert, but try to monitor what they're learning and try to see what they are adapting from other children. Update yourself on latest internet applications and devices. Sit down with children and monitor their activities on internet. Go for anti-porn software and tools. Yes, there are many softwares and tools which if detects, uh, you know, naked flesh, it blocks the website. There are many softwares like that. Make your children feel easy to talk to you. This will help them understand the problem and this will help them, help you as well to understand the problem and help them with the solution. In conclusion, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect our progeny, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect our children and those people who are addicted to porn, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect them and help them get rid of it. And those brothers and sisters who want to get married to make their lives chaste, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help them make their lives chaste and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help the sisters with pious brothers and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help the pious brothers with pious sisters and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help this ummah get rid of this dangerous challenge may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us enter Jannah inshallah and save us from hellfire assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh